Hello my gorgeous people! Welcome to the first ever makeup video on my channel. So this is something I've really wanted to do for a really long time on my channel. I've been thinking about it for so long, almost ever since I stopped filming, which was Christmas last year. It's almost been a whole year, that's really bad. That's dreadful. But a lot's been going on, which I'll have explained, and I'll probably talk a little bit more while I'm, you know, doing my makeup and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Um, I'm really excited to do this. I think it's going to be a really fun series and just, yeah, something I just want to share with everybody. I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> so the idea of this series is to take the songs that I do in my covers and use them to inspire a makeup look. Now, I'm not gonna use them to just like recreate the character or anything like that. That's a bit boring and over time that'll end up being very, a lot of looks that are gonna be very the same. But um, I wanna like actually take the song and the type of song that it is, the emotion, if it's a theater song, the character who sings it and try to inspire that into a more creative look. Um, but something that's still kind of wearable. I'm not an artist. <laughs> And I should also preface that I'm not a makeup artist either. I am in no way, shape or form very good at this. <laughs> um, it's just something I love to do and I think it's really fun and I just, I like doing it. So I want to share it and I want to try and stretch myself a little bit by trying new things and using the songs to inspire looks. So I think we should just get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is my eyes and I like to just put down a little layer of concealer. Today I'm using Maybelline's Super Stay 24 Hour Concealer, 24 hour, but that's that there. Um, and I'm just gonna lay a little bit of that down on the lid as a kind of an eye primer. I don't actually use eye primer, but I think concealer does the job for me. So I just use a little bit of that. And then just with my finger, I just, spread that out oh I forgot to say okay so this look is actually inspired by the cover I did yesterday which was um, the uh, on my own from Les Mis and so <laughs> the idea of the look I'm going for is um, sort of just to express kind of the tragedy and the emotion of that song um, Eponine, who sings that in the um, in the musical, is one of the most tragic characters in my opinion. She is the poor girl. <laughs> She's beautiful and is in love with this guy who is in love with someone else, and it's a bit tragic. But you know, life and all that sort of stuff. But yeah so this look i'm going to inspire kind of like around the emotions in that song and the the emotions of that whole <laughs> musical really it's a it's not a very happy musical <laughs> um so i'm going to go in now with the zodiac palette um by colourpop and kathleen lights this is my new favorite palette at the moment i love it and i'm just going to take um the taurus right there and just put that all over my crease and lid so now on a slightly smaller brush i'm going to go into the virgo and i'm just going to put that on my outer corners and buff it into my crease as well. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, um, I think I'm actually now going to go in with... I think I might actually go back into the Taurus and just on that big fluffy one again and just go back over the crease really just to intensify the color there now i'm going to go into the gemini 
which is this beautiful sparkly shade on the top. I'm a Gemini actually, so this is my my star sign shade. And I'm just gonna put that all over the first half of the lid, the inner half of the lid. Oh, that color's so pretty. In case you're wondering, I did mess up and <laughs> did this whole eye again if you're wondering. I don't think it looks different, but in case you picked on, up on that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, not that one, <laughs> I'm going to use this one, this little flat brush here, and I'm going to go in with the Cancer here and I'm going to pack that on my inner corner. Now we're going to go on to the face. Um, to prime I'm using the Fix and Perfect by Rimmel. Um, I've been testing this out, it's a new primer for me. I struggle with my skin so much and like to get makeup that like suits my skin is so difficult I, I find but that's probably just the case for anyone sort of just starting out with their makeup it's like hard to find what works for you without just trying a heap of different things and like I have really oily skin and also really big pores and awful acne and so Finding stuff that really works <laughs> is a bit of a challenge, but it's okay. We work with it. I don't mind this primer. I mean, it feels nice and hydrating and stuff like that. Um, but I've been, the foundation I was using with it, I don't think was working for me. So I'm going to keep trying this primer. I was using the Match Perfection by Rimmel and... I think it's just too it was too sheer I think I don't think it really is very good for oily skin it just it fell off my face yeah I wasn't a fan um, I'm going in today with Maybelline fit me um, this is a foundation I've used a lot I really like um, I haven't used it in a while this is actually a brand new one <laughs> because the one I had my shade was way too light because obviously the last time I used it I was um, quite pale <laughs> So, yeah, in we go with my Maybelline. Yeah. Um, so, story, I just dropped my sponge <laughs> and I don't know where it's gone. This place isn't even that messy. Like, I can clearly see all of the floor and I have lost my sponge. Good job, Rooney. So, using a new one now. Probably needed to use a new one anyways. Like, did you hear the sound that one was making? Ugh. Yeah, I like this foundation a lot more than I do that other one that I was using. Sleeves keep rolling down or something. Stop. I am still looking for that sponge. I cannot believe it, it's just vanished out of thin air. Now for concealer I'm going to go in with the Colourpop No Filter. Uh, I'm in the shade Fair 5 and I'm just going to do my under eyes. And now that I've done that I'm just going to do a bit here down the center of my face, here and here, and on the chin, just a little bit, just to lighten the center of my face. Okay, now that that's done, we are going to set, and I'm using the ColourPop No Filter. You'll learn throughout these, I really like ColourPop. It's like one of my favorite brands of makeup that I actually buy. Um, just because it's so affordable. 
That's the other thing you'll notice. I don't buy expensive makeup. I can't afford to buy expensive makeup. It's just, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> I'm a uni student. I can't afford expensive makeup. So I'm just going to set the under eye here. So now that I've done my concealer and set it all down, I'm actually going to go in and do my eyebrows. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I will get a brow gel and set it down because I do have quite hairy eyebrows, I suppose, like they're quite thick. So I will set. And that's my brows done <laughs> okay now we're gonna go back to the eyes and excuse you okay and we are going to go back into the cancer with a flat brush somewhere like this and we're just going to highlight that brow bone now that I have a brow bone to highlight <laughs> Oh, I don't know if that's showing up on camera or not, but oh, that looks so pretty. Because I have a big window here on the inside of my house, right? I have a massive window that goes into more, like there's more house outside. I'm not looking outside right now. <laughs> I'm seeing more of my house through a window. But then there's my back door, which is glass, and I have the curtain open, so there's like lots of, lots of sunlight coming through, and I can just, this is so pretty. This highlight is just looking gorgeous on the eye there. A little bit too far out. I think I got a bit carried away. It's just so beautiful. Blend that in. Okay. Uh, now for the under eye. I think now what we're going to do is we're going to try and incorporate a bit more of that moody um, part of the song because I haven't really gotten too much of it yet. It's really sort of just been like, oh, the dark brown and the gold. Um, and I, that's kind of just incorporating the general themes of the movie and the time, I suppose. Like that whole rich versus poor, I suppose you could say if you want. But <laughs> with a small little flat brush like this, I'm going to go in with, I think I want to go in with the Sagittarius. Just all along the outer, I'm just going to do the outer corner of my under eye with this, I think. I'm actually going to go back in with the Taurus and just do the rest of that under eye there. Smudging across with my finger. I don't want too much on the under eye. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, now I want to go in with the Capricorn, which is that beautiful black shimmer shade. Uh, glitter, sorry, not shimmer, glitter. Um, with a, I kind of want just like a bit of a, a slightly smaller brush. So this is an e.l.f. eye crease brush. I had something else on it before, but <laughs> time to clean the brushes, I think. <laughs> I'm just going to dust it off because I do want to get a little bit of that glitter. And I'm going to go back into the outer corner and really try to darken this up. take this color this super shock shadow I think is it's Isa Isa or Isa I, I don't know <laughs> but this lovely dark blue shimmery shade super shock shadow oh it's like it's it's blue it looks blue but then it looks purple it's so pretty so this is like 
just going to go on the line between the black and the gold just to merge them a little bit. Blend them together. Okay, so I think I'm done with the eyes, the eyeshadow at least. Um, now we're going to go and do liner. Um, I'm going to do a black. So I'm going to go into this black eyeliner, which is by JCat. Roll it up. I think I got this in a sparkle box, actually. I used to get that subscription. And I'm just going to do this on my waterline. Like that. Because I want this to be a little bit moody. This look. Sad, a bit moody, nice black eyeliner, yes. Um, and then we're gonna go in with some. I don't think I want eyeliner on the top, I think I just want mascara. So I'm going in with the Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded. I really like this mascara actually, I'm probably due for a new one soon. Um, Normally I would curl my lashes, but I'm not too fussed right now. I can't be bothered. And this mascara does a pretty good job in my opinion anyways without a curl. I'm also kind of lucky I suppose in the sense that my eyelashes are already fairly upwards. They're not flat or anything. So I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> trick I learned for if you get little mascara dots on your eye is you just get a little spoolie um, oh god oh god oh better okay now that my mascara is done um, it is time for the rest of the vase oh my god I've hardly done anything thought I was getting somewhere so first, I'm going to take my Astralis AC on tour, I think. <laughs> it's hard to sort of read. I think it's meant to be like a play on a contour, but it's like AC on tour. But it's a contour palette <laughs> and it's just like this. It's pretty basic. I really like it. Um, and I'm going to take, um, which brush do I want? A nice little one, not too big, not too big. I don't like a big contour. I'm not a big fan of a contour. Um, this is my, it's an angled foundation brush by Eco Tools, but I like to use it for contour. And I'm just going to take this shade here, this middle of the road one, and I'm just gonna go down the cheekbones like this. happy with that I don't really like contouring my nose I have tried a few times I'm not very good at it I could probably use it a bit more practice but I'll be doing that off camera where I won't embarrass myself okay now I'm going to just go in with my Maybelline master bronze palette and I'm going to focus it mostly on these two shades but I'll get a little bit of this one in as well just because this one's a bit of a shimmer but I really just want the bronze I don't want too much shimmer because I think the eyes have enough of that going on and we're just going to take a nice fluffy fairly big brush and I'm just going to dip across the two of them tap it off and just bronze out the skin okay now that I am sufficiently bronzed we are going to go in with a little bit of blush. I don't want too much blush because she's meant to be kind of pale. So we don't want too much, but I'm going to go in with this pretty cheeky palette from Sports Girl. And I'm going to take the shade Strut, which is kind of a bit more of a bronzy, brownie 
blush color. And I'm just going to take this fluffy brush here, only a little bit, and just dust that over the cheeks. Now for highlight, I'm going to use my Sports Girl Glow With It palette. Um, and this just has six really nice baked highlighters in there. Um, it's got something for every occasion in my opinion. And I think I'm going to just take a little bit of Starlight. Just that one right there. Which brush this one here. This little fluffy brush here. I like a highlight but I don't like too much. And we're just going to go right here on the cheek. Cheekbone right there. These aren't too pigmented. They're, they're, they're nice, but they're not the best highlighters I've ever used. But for this one, I really do don't, I don't want too much. I just want a little shimmer on the ground, which that's nice. I also like that I can use the shade Starlight when that's literally a word she uses a couple of times throughout the song, I think. She used it at least once, I know that. <laughs> the trees are full of starlight. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very nice. And then we're just going to go a little bit here, down the nose, on the tip of the nose, and then on the tip. This Cupid's bow. And a little bit on the chin. Just a little bit. And we are highlighted. For now. At least that's all I really want. Normally I would go in with something a lot more pigmented. Or I would wet my brush to make it a, to make it stand out a lot more. But that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Uh, now we are on to the lips. And I think for the lips all we really want. We don't want anything too dramatic. Um, so I'm going to go in with, I think I might actually go in with Jeffree Star Posh Spice. Oh, I need to make one of those. I like that this lip is very cool toned and I think that's, that's what I kind of wanted. I wanted something a little bit cooler and something matte just to make it seem like she's out in the rain, she's cold, she's probably gonna get sick, but yes, I really like this. Okay, now to finish off the look, we must go in with our setting spray. I'm using the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz Matte. Um, I haven't really ever tried too many other setting sprays other than this one. I think I've used an e.l.f. one that I wasn't really a very big fan of. Um, but I've been using this one for a while and I do really like this one. They have another one which is not matte, but I personally, as someone with oily skin, I like my skin to look matte because otherwise it looks shiny and horrible and I just think it looks oily. But let's go in with this. Okay, everybody, so that is the makeup look inspired by On My Own from Les Miserables. Uh, Eponine's ballad I suppose you could say um, I'm quite happy with how this look turned out I'm really a big fan of these eyes I think this is a really good nighttime glam look that you could even just take out on the town it's just yeah it's quite it's simple but it's very it leaves a good impact I think anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this was weird <laughs> but I'm, I know I'll get better. I just need to keep practicing and do more of these. Um, and hopefully moving on, I'll be able to do some really different things and let me know if there's anything like that you guys would like to see. I don't have to keep doing the looks inspired by the songs. I suppose if that starts getting a bit too repetitive and boring, because I can definitely see that with the songs that I like to do, I can see my looks going the same way but that's going to force me to get a bit creative I think so I will work on it <laughs> well thank you everybody so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like uh, comment and subscribe 
to my channel and I will see you all next week with a new cover. Okay, I love you. Goodbye.